Hey guys, this is your girl with Benjamin Buttons 01. I'm coming here today with my take on the strawberry letter. Let's have a listen, shall we? today's strawberry letter and if you need advice on relationships dating work sex parenting and more please submit your strawberry letter to steveharveyfm.com and click submit strawberry letter we could be reading your letter live on the air just like we're going to read this one right here right now buckle up and hold on tight we got it for you here it is the strawberry letter voted best subject why is your mama always drunk? Yes. <laughs> and this letter might be about too. me. All right. I Dear think. Stephen Shirley, I'm married to Can a man that can't control his mother. We've been married for two years, for two years, and I've dealt with this since I met him. His mother went through a late life crisis and has started shopping at Forever 21 and hanging out at cafes at night. I have warned her about COVID, but she says alcohol kills the virus. If that's the case, she won't need the vaccination because she is always a little tipsy when we see her. She's always got a Yeti cup full of wine with her, and she rambles on and repeats herself a lot. My husband and I live in a nice enough neighborhood, and there's an older man that lives with his daughter next door to us. He sits in the yard in the evenings, and my husband's mom has made it her business to get all in his business. She told us that he's single, and he just broke up with his girlfriend, so she's ready to make a move on him. I told her to leave that man alone. Two days later, I noticed her car was in our driveway, but I didn't see her. I went next door and looked in the front window, and I saw her with the neighbor, and it looked like they were having sex. My lord. I told my husband, and uh, he wanted to go next door, but I told him not to. The next thing we know, there's a knock on What's the door from the man, do and he said that it? my husband's mom What's was passed out do? drunk in oh, his please. living room. My husband was embarrassed, and he quickly went next door to get his mom. He still won't tell his mom to cut it out and act her age. Should I mean, intervene and talk to her, to age? or should First I mind my business and let my husband Who is he? Please advise. Tell his mother. Um, I mean, what do you think you can do at this point? Who is he? Your husband hasn't done anything. Uh, let your husband handle it. He hasn't handled it. Uh, this is a grown woman who has a drinking problem. She no, drinks. a grown woman who likes to drink. Drunk, Stop. Right? You said yourself that uh, you have dealt with this for two years. Two years. Yeah, that's how long you've been married to your husband. So you knew this was going on before you guys got married. I mean, you even warned her about COVID, but she had a clap back for that, saying alcohol kills the virus. What? What, Mama? Uh, so right there, she's not trying to hear anything you have to say to her. Uh, and as far as your husband, her son, you see he can't control her. He can't say anything. He's not going to say anything. Is. He might it's be afraid to say anything. Uh, you know how that is. Uh, she's definitely an embarrassment. I get that. But uh, you're going to have to let this play out because you guys can't do anything and she's already out of control. She's doing whatever she, she wants She's grown. She's not do. out of control. What you mean? And the last time I checked, passing out drunk over a yeah, man's house that you're trying to get with, there that's not that. sexy and that doesn't get you in. So... Maybe you could tell her that. Maybe that'll help. But I don't think anything's going to help. She wants to drink and do whatever she wants to. She's his mama. He ain't hers. Did you say at night? All right, Steve. Go ahead. Steve, your turn. Well, I don't know. You've been married to a man that you say can't control his mama. Who, who can control their mama? Thank you. Who? That's, that's a tough one right there. Now, and you've been dealing with this since you met him. Now here's the problem. His mother went through a life midlife crisis and has started shopping at Forever One yeah, and hang out at cafes at night. 21. Now, Forever Twenty One. Now the reason, see, when you sh when you old and you shop at Forever Twenty One, you have to drink so you can think you look good in that outfit. Twenty-one. <laughs> See, I, I get that. The reason I get that. they named the store Forever Twenty One is so they can attract the younger crowd. Yes. They didn't mean that if you put this on, you gonna look like you twenty-one. You always look like you twenty-one. It's just an advertising slogan. It's 
That's not a damn fact. <laughs> Matter of fact, when you put clothes on that you ain't got no business putting on, uh, you look yeah. like a fool. Sometimes this I can be, excuse me, y'all be great. I just certain ways so I like to be warned her about it. She hang out Lady? in cafe tonight. She said that you warned her about what COVID. I do. But she says alcohol kills the virus. Now that I don't that, do. that ain't an old ass remedy. I don't know what it is. You got to be old to come up with that. All right, now. So she don't need the vaccination. And then she's always high when you see her. She got it. Now this is this is when you really high. She ain't got a solo cup. She don't have a paper cup. This old heifer got a Yeti cup full of liquor. Yeti that, cup. That sounds like something I'd like that to do. That means it can stay the same temperature for hours. <laughs> she a professional drinker. She got the same feeling the whole way through that damn mm, Yeti cup. That's God. That's yeah. Hey, what's wrong with that? Even rappers ain't moved to Yeti cups yet. <laughs> She's an advanced alcoholic. Hey, I'm old, <laughs> My husband and I, y'all, live in the nice neighborhood. And there's an older man that lives uh, with his daughter next door to y'all. He sits in the yard in the evening and my husband's mom has made it her business to get all up in his business. That's well, just you, being you sociable. You made that statement, but what you really didn't know was what she was really trying to get all up in. And it wasn't just his business, it was his house. And then she told us he's single and broke up with his girlfriend, so she ready to make up with him. When we come back, I'll explain to you everything else that happened. Yeah. All right, Steve, all right, we can't wait. Part two of Steve's response is coming up in 23 minutes after the hour subject. It's our favorite. Why is your mama always drunk? We'll get back into it right after this. You're listening to the Steve Harvey Morning Show. All right, Steve, come on, let's recap today's strawberry letter. The subject, why is your mama always drunk? Why? Well, this man's mama, you've been married to him for two years. You done dealt with this drinking since you met him. His mother done went through a late life crisis and then started shopping at Forever 21. You didn't say how old she was, but she probably doubled that. So she should probably be shopping at Forever Senior Citizen. Listen. But no, she <laughs> Wait, hold on. Where is that okay. store? That's been a new store I'm thinking about opening. So Put she that might be at your age, not your shoe size. Okay. <laughs> you know, she don't like the mom. You know, about 50-something. Uh, she don't care nothing about coping because she's drinking she drink it, though. She said alcohol, alcohol kills. Because I've been watching stuff out of the movies that I know my daughter-in-law and my daughter's can wear, but... It ain't in the style of This woman carries her. Who gonna tell me that? Who gonna tell me that? Who? She's Whoa. invested. The Yeti cups are expensive. She's invested in keeping her alcohol at premium temperature. All right. That's, to be, that's an alcoholic. When you got to keep it right at the same damn That's a good drinker. She don't want it watered down. Uh, you know what's going on. I'm not sure why you said it or nothing. <laughs> yeah. Now, there's a man next door that she'd have made it her business to get to know him because he done told her she broke up with his girlfriend. He broke up with a girlfriend, so now she's going to make a move on You told her to leave that man alone. Whose business is that? It's hers. Thank you. Old people need love, too. Leave that man alone. If you want to get his thing wet, let him get his thing wet. Her thing probably still get wet. like it when you get old, somebody tell you to leave you alone. You're just sitting over there by your damn self. Come on, now. See that? I think she was doing a Christian thing. Well, really? <laughs> you're, doing, you're taking a little too far yeah, now. Christian right. thing, you're taking a little too far. I know we'll soon you. find out in a couple of lines that mm, this wasn't real churchy after all. Two days well, later, started out churchy now. You notice her car was in y'all's driveway. But you didn't see her. Now, this is the part of the letter I was going to I went next door and looked in the front window. Yo, nosy ass. <laughs> Wait a minute. What? You know what? What? Yo, your busy body ass. First of all, let me click. So there are no white people in your neighborhood because you if a white person would have saw a black person in peeping in somebody's damn window, you would have been in jail. Porch Fuck out of here. Look in they front window. Yes, Do you not know that's illegal? <laughs> Thank Keep you, Steve. It's illegal. It's illegal. 
They live in a black neighborhood, because that was the white neighborhood. They have been all up into the police here. The police have been all oh, running all the time. Uh. <laughs> all right, so now let me take you this. Then she said, I looked in, saw her with the neighbor, and it looked like they were having sex. Let's stop right here. Boy. Okay, why? They can't have sex? What do you mean it looked like they were having sex? Yeah, good question. Number one way. Right. How you having sex and it don't look like it? <laughs> I, you know, I've had some sex. Mm -hmm. Every time I've had it, it looked it like, you looked like I was having it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's just ain't no way. You can it look no like you're having sex you can without looking perform. like you're having sex. It don't look like you perform. Sex is an activity. It's yes, not uh, reading. It's not sitting still. It's not knitting. It's none of that. It's, 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 it's an activity. So you know good and hell well what you saw or you lied. One of the two. It looked like they was having Thank sex. Thank you, Steve. Here you go. Now Don't you got to things. be tired now. Because now you got to climb down off the porch. Go all the way back across the driveway, go up the steps and tell your husband. And he Miss wanted to go next the door, but I told him not to. Why not? You've been you over there. Been, you done been over Thank you. She you start this shit. He should have go see, too. You've been over there, but now the boy can't go over there. The boy. I told him not to. Next thing we know, there's a knock on the door from the man. And he said that my husband's mom was passed out drunk in his living room. Which goes to prove right there they was having sex. Yeah. Old man, old man was in there putting in putting the work. Old man was in there putting in work. He was, he was, he was laying some wood. He was chopping some wood, chopping some wood. Yeah. So he thought he had killed her. So now oh, he came no. over. Now, this, this what? Yeah. So he, he tried to stay out of jail. <laughs> he tried not to catch a case. Yeah. So I mean, he went over. What did he say it? <laughs> Irma Jean. Irma Jean. Oh, Claudetta over here laying on this pillow, and she done passed out because she drunk. He done left out the part of what he was doing. Irma Jean and Claudetta, some old ass man. He was in the window watching. So he just came and told her she drunk. He put her out. My husband was embarrassed, and he quick, quickly went next door to get his mom. Let go ahead and get her drunk ass. <laughs> he still won't tell his mama to cut it out that day. Should I intervene and talk? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Take your nose ass and you put no. your nose ass one. Go on, get in her business. Get, get in her business and find out what happened to her ass. Go on, get in her business. Get all up and through her business. Please do. Dissect then you want to write another letter. The day my mother in law whipped my ass. Right, see, we and gotta she go. gonna knock your ass yeah. out. Yeah, go see, that's what she's gonna do. She's gonna knock your ass the hell out. Post your comments on today's drummer. Letters, look at the end of stuff. Got a telescope. <laughs> he still won't tell his mama to cut it out that day. Should I intervene and talk? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Take your nose ass. And you no. Ass. Go ahead. Okay, guys. You heard Shelly. You heard Steve. What's wrong with people of a certain age drinking and having fellowship? Hell, having sex. What's wrong with that? I'm almost 50. And I can creep the hell out of my kids. I can creep my kids out real good. I can creep them out. Oh, I can creep them out real good. All me and the husband got to do is talk about sex. Everybody's skin go to crawl. How the hell did they think they got here? Matter of fact, how did the girlfriend think her, 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 her husband got here? Apparently, the ones who knew safety Mama was isn't a catchphrase. Mm -hmm. It's a culture. And the ones who help make sure everyone makes it. Apparently, the mom was having sex. So. And if she not drunk, let's be clear about something, Bar. If this lady not drunk, drunk, I'm talking about slump, over drunk, and or, or, or pissy drunk, or pukey drunk, or shitty drunk, leave old girl alone. Let her enjoy her life. She probably ain't got a long more to be here. Can she please enjoy it a little bit? Do you see what's going on in this damn world? Do you see? Let her enjoy her life. She probably ain't got a long more anyway. 
And if she want to drink till she drunk, let her drink till she drunk. If she smoke till she high, let her be smoking till she high. If she want to fuck till she pass out, let her get fucked till she pass out. Y'all let these people live their life. If that's not really directly harming you, that, that's what I, I, I truly need to understand. Is if this is not directly affecting you, and I'm drinking, or I'm smoking, or me and the man that I'm with is having sex, leave me the hell alone. Leave me the hell alone. And that's the advice I'm going to give this young lady about her damn mother in law. If it's not directly affecting you, and it's not hurting her, leave her the hell alone. That man probably ain't had sex in a while. So that was some free hoo-ha. Leave that damn lady alone. But it's your girl, Benjamin Buttons 01, and I am out.